Heather Hedges is here with more on one of the team's members who has a uh, pretty intense other job, Heather, and we're spotlighting her because uh, April is Autism Awareness Month. It is, and uh, Sarah, this 23-year-old pro hockey player played for 25 minutes in that game to help the Pride win the coveted Isabel Cup. But it is her work off the ice that she tells me is actually what is most fulfilling to her. They're still riding the high of winning the national championship, but number eight, defender Taylor Turnquist, took the time to sit down with us and talk about her other full-time job, working with kids with autism at the New England Center for Children in Southboro, which she calls her true calling. I believe that I was put on this earth, you know, to help and to, to teach. Taylor works with kids in the school's intensive program where children with significant needs like behavioral challenges spend a full day learning, a job she started in the middle of the pandemic. Some of them are nonverbal and they have their devices, but you know that that they like when they're smiling and they're happy, you know, it's just it's just so heartwarming for me. And like the days, the hard days, it makes it all worth it when I'm able to teach them a new skill. It takes a lot of patience. And you, you definitely have to have confidence in yourself that you can handle any situation that's going to come towards you because um, many of these students are unpredictable. From day one, she's been very confident. It's a lot of juggling that hasn't gone unnoticed, says Boston Pride GM Carolyn Pilch. And for everything that Taylor does well on the ice, off the ice, she somehow takes it to another level. And that's really important to our team and our culture. A typical day for Taylor is up at 6, work until 4, and practice until 10.15 at night. She's usually running off about 6 hours of sleep. She says on the tough days, though, the kids help her power through. Do you see yourself first and foremost as a special ed teacher or a hockey player? I see myself as a special ed teacher, and then, um, you know, even in the hockey community, I can make a difference there as well. And I think all the players in this league are... We're here to do the same thing, and that is make a sustainable league for you know future generations and allow younger female hockey players to have something to work towards and say, you know, I want to grow up to be a pro hockey player. Taylor is certainly a role model for other young people in both capacities. You know, it is worth acknowledging here the pay disparity at play here. Hopefully someday female professional hockey players will make the same pay as male professional hockey players. So the females won't have to hold day jobs. But until then, Taylor's talents are certainly much needed in the fields of autism therapy and special education where recruiting new employees and high turnover rates are constant challenges. Heather Hedges, Boston 25 News.